Hi everybody, Mrs. Heise here. I'm going to show you today how to use our miter saw. When we use the miter saw, we are going to be cutting wood. We are going to be cutting 90 degree or right angles into our wood. A few things that we want to know before we begin cutting the wood is we want to notice which way the grain is running on the wood. You always cut against the grain, so cutting against the grain when we use the miter saw. All right, a few safety tips that you should have learned um, was making sure that we put our material flat on the table. We push it up against the fence. This back here is our fence that holds our material so it doesn't slide around. Okay, I'm cutting against the grain. Um, here's our trigger. There's a safety button on the trigger. You have to push in the safety button and then you pull the handle to get the blade in motion. All right, a few other safety tips that you need to know. One, you always want to have your hair tied back if you have longer hair, all right? It's because you don't want your hair to get caught in the machine. Also, you should always wear safety glasses. Place your safety glasses on your face. This way, none of the debris gets up into your eye and hurts, hurts your eyes. Now, first thing we're going to do is a sawdust cut, okay? We want to have just take a tiny little bit of material off of our wood to make sure that we have a nice right angle to start with. All right. Another safety feature is you want to make sure that you're cutting at least material that's three inches long. So you just get a tape measure, measure out your material. I have plenty of length right here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to line up my blade by bringing the handle down, keeping my fingers off of the uh, safety trigger. Right hand is going to be on the trigger. Left hand will be holding your material. Line up my blade so I'm making a tiny little cut. All right, and then I can begin pushing the safety in and squeezing the trigger. You want to make sure that the blade comes to a full speed before you actually cut down into the wood. So pushing in. Making sure that the blade comes to a complete stop before you lift up on your material. Notice I didn't take the, uh, the saw blade and come down as fast as I could. I made a nice, steady, even cut. Now I have a nice right angle here. If you are cutting your material to a certain length, this is the point where you would take your tape measure, measure out exactly the length that you need, and I'm going to cut off, let's say, four inches. All right, place my tape measure on here, mark out four inches, and when you're doing this, you can go ahead and use a pen or a pencil, but just make sure that we line it up perfectly. I'm going to take my blade, and taking a look here, the blade is about an eighth of an inch wide, okay? When it cuts the material, it's going to cut off an eighth of an inch. That is called a kerf, all right? What we want to do is we want to line up the right side of our blade with our line where we want it to be cut off. So I just simply bring it down, line it up so my line is on the right side of my blade, bring it up, make sure my left hand is pushing my material up against the fence, my right hand is on the trigger. Get the blade to full speed. Wait for it to come to a complete stop before we raise the blade. And there, I have my four inches right on the dot. Four inches. Now, if you have any questions on how to use a miter saw, please make sure that you ask me during class.